everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be discussing, as you guys can see right here, we're going to be talking about some AEW action figures, or just jazz wares, AEW, unrivaled, unmatched, all the different things about the, the whole series, man. I, if you guys will, please go ahead and hit the like button, so it really helps out the channel when you hit the like button, so if you please will, try to get this video to 300 likes if we can. If you don't, you cross the line. And I feel like this year, it, it's coming up on the end of 2021, we are going to get into top 10 and top fives and all kinds of great stuff. We're going to cover the best AEW figures of the year, the worst AEW figures of the year, and we may even dive into it a little bit more than that. We'll see about that. I'll play around with those ideas. Let me know if you have any cool video ideas down below. But today, I just wanted to get on here and just talk about the year overall, right? The, the year in review of AEW action figures. I was going back through. I was looking at the AEW figures. I was looking at some of the releases that we got, some of the releases we're going to be getting, and just kind of breaking it down. You know, I feel like in 2020, it was a bit of a rough shot. You know, we only got two series, I think. Three, if you include maybe a couple of other things, maybe some exclusives here and there. I can't remember the exact number. But I do know that 2021 started off, I think, with Series 3 just releasing, which is kind of mind-boggling. I want to say that Series 3 either released at the very end of 2020 or it was at the very beginning of 2021. So we're about over a year removed or right at a year removed from when Series 3 pumped out. So we've had Series 3, Series four, series five, series six, and series seven all hitting retail. We're still waiting on series eight. So we've had five series, not including the unmatched series that came out as well as some exclusives. So about six series, that's pretty good right there. I'd say I feel like next year it's even going to be better because you're going to have not only the unrivaled line, but you also have the unmatched line, which is kind of insane. It's kind of cool because Mattel only has like their, they have their main elites and then they have, you know, exclusives and different waves like that, but they only have one elite line. But now with AEW and Jazz Wars, you get an AEW Unrivaled and an Unmatched, and they're pretty much the exact same products, just in two subsequent sort of lines there, with the silver packaging and the gold packaging, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit. At the beginning of the year, we did have Series 3, and I think that, you know, that series was pretty solid. I know a lot of people like to pick at, you know, the re-releases and all those things, but I think 2022 is going to be the uh, the, the year that everything kind of takes off for AEW and Jazz Wars, because I feel like we're going to be getting a ton of big names, tons of big names coming this year. I am going to make some predictions on those things, but Jeremy is not somebody that rests, man. He's a collector at heart. He has his finger on the pulse of the community at all times. I love this guy. I actually look at this guy not only as like a sort of like uh, inspiration, like figure wise and, you know, collecting wise, but just like as a, just like as a business mind, as a professional, like I, I just, I, I love that guy, man. I, I respect that guy and I think he's fantastic. He's the right one to, you know, steer the ship in the right direction, but overall this year, I think that AEW figures did a fantastic job, man. I mean, we had some really great releases. I will say there are some things they can get better at, which we will touch on in this video. But at the end of the day, it really got me excited to collect. I felt like for a while there, I was kind of like middle of the road. Like, I love WWE figures. I love collecting them and customizing them and making videos and just, I love this hobby and I love collecting and I love the community that we have created here. However, I think that AEW kind of took like an adrenaline booster shot and just stuck it into my neck and really got me hyped to collect even more so I think that was awesome and it also created this sense of competition in the wrestling figure community man because for so long it was just Mattel making their WWE basics and their elites and eventually we got into ultimates and stuff like that and they, I, I don't know if they were going to make double jointed arms a thing beforehand I didn't know if that was the plan eventually to get the interchangeable heads a lot more to get more cloth goods to get more double jointed arms into the line and just focus more on details I don't know if that was initially the plan 10 years ago you know they were like eventually we're going to get to a point where these figures can be improved to this or if Jazzwares kind of put that into a rush you know maybe they came on the scene and they were like oh crap maybe some people over at Mattel were like man we need to we need to improve our figures they have better articulation than us they have this they have that and maybe that improved them or not but regardless if they were the reasoning or not having two respective waves two wrestling figure brands on the shelves is better for uh, for us as collectors is one that's number one that makes it so much better for us because there's better products out there. We, you know, it can, like it gives just new breath of fresh air to our, our creativity, to our creation, and to, you know, uh, so many different things, man. It just, uh, like, again, just an adrenaline shot right in the neck, and it kind of boosted everything in the community. So it's not only good for the collectors, who, who th that's where it all trickles down to, but it also creates competition, and it creates creativity in those offices where these figures are designed, you know? Like, if maybe an AEW figure designer sees something that Mattel does, and then they have a 
way to interpret that into their own way and vice versa. So it's just a great thing for all, for everyone, especially collectors. I cannot stress that enough because that comes down onto us and we're able to grab and pry and do all these great things. And it, it leads to us creating these things that we see on the channel every single day that we that we see in these pick beds, figure photography, uh, just, just the insane, insane creativity level that we see across the entire, not only wrestling figure community, but action figures in general and just collecting and being, you know, a connoisseur of the hobby there. So that's one thing that has been in incredible this year, just walking into stores, seeing AEW figures, seeing WWE right up next to each other. It's just been fantastic. But the things that I think we'll see this year from AEW, I think we will see more exclusives. I think we're going to continue to see more lines pushed out. I think that, you know, we've kind of had a delay. I know it's been, I want to say it's been like six months, maybe five months since the Unmatched series came out. And it's been a while since Unmatched series two came out. I feel like it is going to ship any day now. And we're, we're going to have it before 2022. But to see that big gap right there, I think it's still kind of like pandemic deals, different things like that kind of slowing us down. However, in 2022, man, you got to think we're going to be getting CM Punk in AEW Unrivaled figure form. We're going to be getting Adam Cole. We're going to be getting Brian Danielson. We're going to be getting so many more exclusives. I think Jeremy even tweeted out that he is going to be making a golf cart play set happen. Sue's van is going to be made. He said he said that he plans on getting an Adam Hangman page horse made like a figure set there. So play sets are in the works. All the things are in the works, man. I told you Jeremy is a genius when it comes to this. He knows what the figure collectors want. He's going to make it affordable. He's going to get these things out either as exclusives. He's going to get these things into the figure collectors' hands. And I don't know. I know that WWE and Mattel have been doing these crowdfunders. I'm excited to see what their next crowdfunder is. I don't know what they're going to do there. Hopefully we'll know in a few months' time. But, you know, I think they do New York Toy Fair in like February or March. And maybe that's where we'll see the next step towards a crowdfunder. Maybe Jazzwares decides to step out of the box and do their own crowdfunder. We'll have to see about those things. Maybe that's something they can work towards in the future and get these crazy sets and things like that. But AEW has taken tremendous strides over the year. I know, again, with the re-releases that we touched on, but I think this year is going to be where the re-releases kind of take a step back and that new talent flows in like we're seeing in the unmatched waves, in the unrivaled waves as we continue on. I think we're going to continue to see new talent pushed out and those things are kind of in the past. Of course, you're still going to get your Kenny Omegas. You're still going to get your Moxley's and Jericho's. However, I think that this year we will see a huge transition into newer talent, more figures, more molds, more head sculpts, more better things for us as collectors, and it's going to be fantastic. Now, as far as improvements that AEW figures can make, I already touched on the re-releases thing. I think that is one thing that a ton of, I've seen a ton of collectors talk about that, so I will agree that yes, re-releases are a bit of a problem sometimes. I don't mind it. You know, I'll buy 62 Kenny Omegas. It doesn't bother me, but I know there's a ton of people out there that want to see new characters. They want to see new molds. I totally understand that, and I think that, again, this year is going to be a big step towards that, but I felt like 2021 was still a fantastic year for AEW figures, but when you switch it over to the problem side, I think a lot of people also have a, a problem with their, their double jointed arms. I feel like some of their elbows are kind of softy, and I feel like a lot of people also touch on the legs, so I think these are things that will improve. If you go back to the first few series of WWE Mattel, even up until, like, they still have figures like this today, but uh, it does happen where they use those, I don't even know what you want to call it, like the pine cone or the non-ball joints type of joints. They're really stiff. They make, like, that crack noise. Think like Dusty Rhodes, Rey Mysterio's with long pants, things like that. We saw that a lot early on with Mattel, and they continued to improve. They got more ball joints on figures, and they've improved a lot. So with AEW and Jazzwares, maybe those things can continue to improve. We'll see tightness in the joints. We'll see better lightness. We'll see better things as we improve with the line. But you guys know that, again, going back to the adrenaline shot in the neck, they turned me into a mock collector. Like, I wasn't even collecting mock, and then AEW figures came around and it just sort of excited me to try and do this. You know, you have a brand new line starting from the ground. It's really easy to jump in there, mock, and try to stay on top of things. I know the chase figures are insane, but they also give us a whole new reason to hunt, a whole new reason to seek things out, and it makes collecting very exciting. So that's a whole new deal right there. I know that they're very hard to come by, and they also inflate in price, but at the same time, it makes collecting super, super fun, at least for me. But I wanted to talk about a few things about AEW action figures. Man, I think 2022 is going to be the biggest year for them so far, and I think 
think it'll continue to grow as we see there. But I also wanted to get into these real quick. You guys will see here that we do have the AEW Wrestling Buddies. This is series number one. I have Luchasaurus right here. These are really awesome. They're on Ringside Collectibles right now. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. But we do have Luchasaurus who looks really good. I don't know if I want to keep these mock or not. I don't know if I have the room for them to be honest with you. But I think I'm going to give it a shot anyways and just see how long I can make these last. But on top of Luchasaurus, man, we also have a few more characters. We do have Cody in the set who looks pretty cool. Uh, he has a bunch of weird like shadowing going on in his face. He has a bunch of wrinkles and stuff so I thought that was pretty funny. We also have Darby Allen who looks sick AF. I love the way that Darby Allen looks, man. You have the half face paint here. You have your full sleeve tattoo with all the different details going on. You even have his tattoos here. Nothing's over till you're underground. You got the chain. Uh, really cool figure there or not figure but wrestling buddy. So you have Darby Allen. And then the last one that we do have is the cleaner, Kenny Omega and he does have the shooter hand right there which is so sick. I, I love this. These are awesome. I don't know who's going to be in series 2 or whatever but on the back you guys can see there. You got Matt and his son Zach right there on the back of the packaging so that's pretty cool man. It has 12 authentic AEW sounds and phrases. I think you do have to pull this tab out to do that and uh, yeah. So if you guys want to grab these, great throwback to the past and everything man. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 2% if you want to go grab the wrestling buddies from AEW so I don't know if those are going to go to retail or not. I don't know if you're going to be able to get those at Target, Walmart, what have you, but that is going to wrap up today's video on AEW figures, man. I just wanted to get on here, discuss those things with you. Trying to get a surgery up for tomorrow, have a brand new action figure surgery. We'll see about that. Play that by ear, but thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know down in the comment section below what you think of AEW figures and where we go from here. Subscribe to the channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and do not cross the line. You cross the line. I've been